Hey guys, welcome back to Star Trek Online. We're going to do a Delta Quadrant mission. You'll notice the Dyson Sphere is right there behind us along with this really cool planet. And this is our Galaxy Class Starship. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look real quickly at the next mission and the episodes in Delta Quadrant. Scroll on down and do all that glitters. Let's go ahead and hail that mission. Are you familiar with Voyager's emergency medical hologram? He's quite unique, even for an old EMH Mark I. Now he holds rank in Starfleet in his own right. We've received a message that the doctor requires assistance to deal with the medical situation on an Ocampa freighter in the Shenda system. He's currently en route in one of Voyager's shuttles. Normally I'd send a medical vessel, but we've seen a spike in Vadwa attacks and I want to make sure he has all the resources he'll need. Could you go to the Shenda system and assist the doctor? All right, going to the Shinda system, uh, which is located in the Delta Quadrant to meet the doctor. Experience, okay, so this mission will give you a duty officer, which I haven't talked much about that yet, because I didn't want to waste the time. Well, I wanted to enjoy the lower levels instead of just the upper levels, gaining more and more experience, doing certain things. So um, EMH is what we're gonna get. I'll talk about that at some point. And then we get another career Pacific a very rare kit reward. Okay, let's go ahead and accept this mission. Hello, would you have time? Okay, ignore him. And let's just really look real quickly. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven more missions for Delta Quadrant. And so we've done about a third of them. So this is a longer um, episode list. So let's go ahead and start heading there. We have a little ways to go. Um, we are traveling though at warp 12.69, which is pretty fast. Um, we're going to travel there a little bit faster. Um, let's go ahead and do So that is traveling at 31.5. Full stop. Yes, yes, I know. I ran into the sun. All right, all that glitters. Um, let's start that mission. All right, here we are. We've arrived in the system. Take us to the doctor's shuttle. Let's press you real quickly. Uh, oh, status, there you go. So I'm halfway through the first level, uh, through that combat experience in the last episode. Full impulse. Full stop, hail the doctor. Pleased to meet you. I scanned your service record before your arrival. You've been in quite a few battles, haven't you? Ever stop to think about the strain you're putting on your medical crew before you charge into combat? Of course you don't. No captain ever does. We've been hailing this Ocampan freighter for some time, but we're not getting a response, and our sensors cannot penetrate their shields. Their initial distress signals indicated that they were suffering from Paranisti measles. I can treat it easily, if I can get onto the ship. Now that your ship is here, it should be trivial to board the vessel and assess the situation. Transport me aboard your vessel, and then my shuttle can return to Voyager. I don't mind transferring, transporting the uh, doctor to our ship. It's not like it's Neelix. All right, there we go. Excellent. Your ship has more powerful sensors than my shuttle. Warning. Ship is under attack. All right, what's being a pain in the butt? I hate the long walk. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed that because I 
hate that when the teammate is. Also separating. action was not authorized. I don't like him. I'm pleased to finally meet you. It appears your presence here in the Delta Quadrant has inadvertently caused some conflict between us. I would rather avoid any more unpleasantness. Would you be willing to meet with me face to face? That is understandable. You have a location in mind? There are not many areas of the Delta Quadrant where my people are not reviled. Yeah, but your face looks like a ball sack. Oh, what a wonderful oh, surprise! God. Is there anything I can do for you? Really? Yes, die! Seriously! Shave your face off! Oh. Diplomatic negotiations? I am Starfleet's ambassador to the Delta Quadrant. I would be more than happy to offer my services as mediator. As for the location, Dexa and most of our people... Okay, seriously, they only gave him that to get him off the freaking ship. And if you guys have heard, I really, really am angry that he gave him back his lungs in the third or fourth episode. I'm pretty sure it's the third if you consider the first two episodes, uh, the continued episodes into two episodes. <sighs> well, did you find a suitable Atalaxians? Are there still Talaxian communities? Believe it or not. How odd. The site is agreeable. Send my ship the coordinates and I will meet you there. See, that's the one thing about the Valwa. They are right when it comes to Talaxians. They're stupid. I'm contacting the closest man. They can investigate this further while we meet with Gaul. Imagine using a medical emergency as a trap. The Vaudoir have no shame. Yeah, well... I don't trust Gaul. He betrayed us on Vaudoir Prime. He'll do it again. It's good to see you again so soon. If I might make a suggestion... No. I would recommend only bringing two crew members with your away team. Gaul brought four aides. You'll have the doctor and myself, and bringing more of your crew down might look like you're trying to get an advantage on him. I don't count you as Gaul part of crew. seems very touchy. In fact, Proper actually, if I bring three and Are you I ready to beam blast down? Neelix, I s I'll hostile at four. Uh, 
I really don't like it. It's so good to see. Doctor, it's been 30 years. You haven't aged a day. No yes. Shit. It's good to see you too, Neil. No, it's not. We have a bit of time before we'll begin. We're giving the Vaudoir a fine Talaxian feast to help ease the tension. Doctor, you must tell me all you've been up to. Somebody killed a rat. Oh, Neelix, I couldn't. Not with the Vaudoir here. But I suppose it is important that you hear about my many achievements since our last meeting. And my brilliant research was able to prove conclusively. Thus, I began my grand adventure into the challenge of writing Klingon opera. <laughs> oh, well, Brax and I agreed to never mention the incident again. <laughs> well, at least not to Dexa. <laughs> Neelix, the Vardwar have finished the appetizers and are waiting for you. Oh, well, we had better get going. We, we can talk more later. <sighs> okay. Now, Do you I remember Chef Jolax from the last time you were here? Uh, this is truly painful for me, guys. You have no idea. I really don't like Neelix. Mm, I have a tendency to go after him when I play Star Trek CCG. I, I try to kill Neelix as soon as I see my friend Jerry play him. Oh. He is so annoying. Alright, where do I have to go? Walk to the conference room. I'm guessing it's down there. Which is why I can't see it. Uh. Yep. Why would he allow retards to, you know, do this? I don't really get it. Ah, uh, at last. I must say, your Talaxian friends are quite hospitable. But down to business. Our meeting is long overdue. As do I. My people are damaged, in crisis. We are already at war with the Kabali, and with you, given your alliance's support for them. Do you know why we fight the Kabali? Their world was once a Vadwa colony. One of our largest. And there is still a large cache of stasis tubes on the planet. Those are my brothers and sisters being held hostage. The Kabali are stealing them, taking their very identities and transforming them. Well, let's be honest, at least their head doesn't look like a ball sack. The Kabali would rather watch us die and use our corpses as fuel for their unnatural corruption. Is it wrong to fight against your own extinction? Don't we have a right to survive as well? Well, you're okay, I guess, technically. It's just the Talaxians, I, 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 they, they must all die. There can be no peace. Not after what they've done. Are you suggesting we are weak? That we should just lay down and die for them? No, we will not. Yeah, okay, he's already on my nerves, but it might be the Talaxians really affecting me. Do not try to pacify me. We will have our retribution. You have my offer. Abandon your alliance with the Kobali and support us, and we will be your strongest ally in the Quadrant. Well, this is going to end in a fight. <laughs> Peace. You know nothing of what it means to be Vaudoir. You need to understand. All right. Let's take care of business. The Vaudoir have endured too much to make peace. Do you expect us to forget the destruction of our cities? The massacres of our people? The food's almost ready. What would you all like for your main course? You need to understand even the smallest fraction of our anger. Oh, I think this is going to make me happy. <gasps> oh, no, no. You hit the wrong Talaxian. He's dead. What were you I'm thinking? <laughs> Does that make you angry, Talaxian? No. It makes me sad. For Jolex. And for you. 
Told you hit the wrong Talaxian. Then we are not done. <laughs> so even the Talaxians think find it funny. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> What do you guys call a whole bunch of dead Dalaxians? Hell of a good start. Alright. But I guess I do have to save them. Next to go. What? Doctor? Time only to save one group? I do not envy your choice. I would go with you, but I cannot leave Neelix alone. And time is of the essence. I'm afraid you'll have to go on without us. No. I'm going. I can't sit by and let the board. Can't, can't stand that. Please just kill Neelix and then you can come. Or Neelix can just stay and die from a Volwa. -vol. Alright. Get him away, you moron. How do we choose who to save? Send your legs to the ones you want to die and save the others. Save the hostages, but they may be safer here. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta talk to these stupid hostages. What about the people in logistics? I just, you know, kill the Volwa, but don't save the. Uh, <sighs> I'm sorry, I just... No, actually, I'm not sorry. Maybe a little bit. But no, the constant annoyance in Neelix gave me that entire series. He just... Enemy. He was such... I don't like goofball characters. <clears throat> and I also don't like guys that can't act like a man. And are kind of pansy. And quite frankly, if that offends you, I don't give a flying freak. <clears throat> All right, wait, okay, I have to save these people too. I thought I could only save a few. Wait, okay. Nope, yep, yeah, these died. Doctor, you have to save them. No. These are my friends. Don't care. They are beyond my help Thank now. Thank God. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the next mission then requirement. We can still save the others. We have to get to the shuttle in the cargo bay. Okay. Recover, open glass doors to the shuttle bay. Nope. Glass wall. Where the heck? There's a console around here. Is this it? No. Alright, 
I see. Huh. Shoot them. Oh, that's what I need to open. Say hello to my little friend. Die. What? Going in the stairs. Yeah, got him in the back. Let's be honest with you, I'm not killing him because, you know, he's, you know, attacking, uh, the Neelix's people. Nah. Not the Tylaxians. I'm killing them because they're just so stupid. And a pain in the ass. Let's see here. You have to die first. Three. Four. I've sent a signal to the remaining Telaxians to join us here as soon as possible. Why? Ugh. Thanks a lot, Doctor. More Vodlar on the way. Defend the shuttle. Alright, we need this here. And it's good to put a cover shield up. More on the way. If I weren't a hologram, I'd be worried. A large number of Vodwar are closing in. I'm afraid they may be too much for you to handle. Hmm. Sup? The Terrae are here to assist. After this, our debt to you is repaid. That's timely. Here come the Vodwar. Oh, shit. have been repelled. I would have words with you before you continue. Oh, I'm not entirely sure you're much better than the blasted, uh... Our Lexus. help does not mean we are now allies. We are repaying a debt. Our ships are currently engaging the Vardwa fleet. It is unsafe for this shuttle to launch until they are defeated. We will return to our ships. I suggest you do the same. We will provide cover for your ship so it may drop shields to transport you. Cool. I like that. Leave Talaxi. I knew this meeting was a farce. The word Vodwar means fool in ancient Talaxian. Did you know that? Yep. You thought me a fool who would swallow your insults without comment. A fool who would blunder into the trap you set with the Torey. I am not. And yet it came here with the Talaxian. And not just any Talaxian, Neelix. This has destroyed any chance of an accord between us. How disappointing. I had thought you would be a valuable ally. Now you are just another victim. Ooh, them, them fighting words. I hate the victim.
really hate those mines they have. I've always hated them. to our aid when the Vaudoir attacked our homeworld. Now we have come to assist you. This discharges our obligation. How could they do something so horrible? We're no threat to them. We've done nothing but welcome them. And he just... He killed my friends just to make a statement. I, I don't understand how anyone would be so callous. It's quite simple. Your entire race brings down the intelligence of the entire galaxy. The IQ, it destroys it. Mm. I'm sorry, neither. I can't say that. They will be avenged. Um, okay, let's talk about them. They will be avenged. I don't blame you. I agreed to let the Void War come here. I put my people in danger. Stupid. This is my responsibility. I just never conceived that even the Vaudemar could be so treacherous. Well, they double-crossed us on Voyager and tried to take the ship, but slaughtering innocent people. So you didn't see My it time on Voyager changed me. I saw the best that people could be. I forgot, or wanted to forget, how evil they could be. With your permission, not done. I'll lead the survivors back to New Talix. Then we can return with a security force to collect the dead. Why not just kill them all? Or blow up the place. I've been in contact with the USS Blackwell. They boarded the freighter in the Shenda system, but it was empty. It was all a ruse by the Vaudoir to lure us into that system. Everything was part of this play Gaul wanted to perform. From the initial distress call to his intervention and offer to negotiate. And then he used a massacre to set his stage. That's the kind of man he is, and unless he's stopped, the entire quadrant may fall. Gaul has shown his true nature. I expected he was not dealing in good faith. But nevertheless, we had to make an attempt to find a peaceful solution to our problems with the Vaudoir. 
Now the war will continue. I grieve for all who have been lost, and for those who will fall before this conflict ends. Senseless, meaningless death. I'll never understand. I hope Neelix and his people will be able to find some peace, and that Gaul will answer for his crimes. And I hope our paths cross again, perhaps under better circumstances next time. With your permission, I'll return to Voyager. Part of the system. Gaul's actions were unconscionable. A senseless slaughter simply to make a point. And he wanted your sympathy. Hello. Congratulations. Would you have time to look into something for me? 